Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. two high-profile, high-calibre teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface and... That's a fine start in itself. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Chiro Immobile. He's your classic striker, Peter. Absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal. He can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man, but... Given his superlative finishing ability, his teammates should be looking to get the ball to him in the box whenever possible. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Has a goal! Volleyed effort. Yeah, quick thinking and the right choice for me, but that was difficult to get right. Spinazzola crosses into the area. Clears it out of harm's way. Verratti. Verratti goes hurtling down that left-hand side. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Benucci. Across the field it goes. And it's Grealish. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Pellegrini. Grealish, big chance! Grealish, Chilwell, Alexander Arnold. Rice played out to the right. That looks a good ball. 
Bonucci can get it clear. Now it's Immobile. And it's Immobile. Gets away from his opponent. Battles to win it back. Grealish. That's a promising ball. Chance to shoot! Goal! England! England take the lead! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. And we've reached half-time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. <laughs> There's the start of the second half. England carrying a one-goal lead. Pellegrini Verratti Verratti with the crossfield ball Shaw is there and he can get that clear a really good feat Verratti kings it out wide He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Keeps everyone guessing. Looking to go deep. Italy showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Shaw. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Abraham! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. It's going to be a double change then. And it's Shaw. He's had a shot! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. Hoists it forward. What a throw in. Italy making another change here. <laughs> Plays a clever pass. Saka looking to get on the end of this. Oh, that's nice. Looking for a decent ball in. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? England certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. And that will be the final act. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?
Well, Peter, I'm sure a more 